What's up guys, it's Ace Unhacked here and welcome back to episode 2 of Vanilla Survival, so I hope you all enjoy. Alright, so we are right where we left off in the last episode. We have some iron, I'm going to throw it in a furnace. Let's split this up into both furnaces so it'll smell a bit quicker, we can make some more armor and the goal of this episode i think might be for us to find some diamonds because i definitely will need diamonds to be able to complete this also it's daytime so i might just go outside if there's not too much stuff lurking around oh i see a skeleton hi skeleton um if you give me some bones yes that will be useful for when we start a farm there's still a couple pigs around which I need to find carrots for to uh, actually start a farm with the pigs. Ooh, chickens though, I can start a farm just with seeds. I might come back for you, Mr. Chicken. I think I might just explore this swamp a bit. We should grab some of this sugar cane because if we want to get to enchanting, I'm going to need a book to make an enchanting table. And... With the bosses that we're planning to fight at the end of this series, I think it would be a very good idea to have enchanted gear. So I might just jump over here. Do I have... Okay, I have enough to make a book now. I will need to find a cow and kill the cow to be able to get leather for the book. Or get rabbits or horses or something. Just anything that will drop me leather. Is there anything else? There's sheep. The sheep drop food in this? I don't remember. Is that a thing? Yes, they do. Ooh. I'm sorry, Mr. Sheep. I'm just going to kill you all and take all of your food and wool. <gasps> Rabbit. Yes. Okay. I can get leather from rabbits. I didn't get any leather from that rabbit. Well, Mr. Rabbit, that's not useful at all, is it? Especially because I need four rabbit hide to make leather, I think. Ooh, one. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I'm happy with one. Would have liked a couple more, but to start at least, I need to make sure I'm always heading in the right direction so I can get back to my base when I'm done with this, or else this is just going to be bad. Uh, more sheep. I might as well grab food because food is going to be something I will definitely have to pay attention to. I'm not used to having to worry about too much food. Uh, cause on servers and stuff I usually have slash eat or there's a shop where I can buy food, but not here. This is all completely single player. Any other mobs? I don't know what that sound was. That was kind of terrifying. Any other mobs around here that want to sacrifice their lives for the good of the peoples? Or by the peoples, I mean the good of me? For me? No. No cows anywhere? Let's have a quick look over this ridge, and oh, there was wolves. I only have one bone though. Oh, I have three bones, but I really kind of want to use them for farming instead of taming. I need to eat so I can sprint again. Um, no, I don't see any cows or anything. And the wolves there will kill any uh sheep or rabbits that spawn, which is unfortunate because then. They will have killed them and I don't get the XP and I might not even see the drops. Oh, this is a big cave system here. Yeah, but we have a better cave system. Oh, cows! There's cows! Yes! I can grab some leather. I didn't already have leather, no. Okay. Let's go down and grab some leather from you, please. Yeah, uh, I didn't get leather. Really? You didn't drop any leather? Oh, maybe I should have kept the cows. Oh, there's still two cows. Um, I kind of want the cows alive because I should make a cow farm. That'd be good for food and XP. Oh, where's my home? My home is right over there. That may be a thing. Remember the cows. Remember they're here. So we can make a cow farm later because that will be really easy. We don't have to worry about getting carrots for the pigs because we can just breed cows over and over again. For food, for leather, for XP. That would be really useful. Thank goodness there's cows there. Alright, but let's grab this iron and make ourselves some full armor. Uh, my inventory is extremely full. Let's make 
a double chest. I don't know if I should just keep my house here. Like, just in this wall and expand it a bit. Or if I should go make an actual house somewhere. I don't know. But for now, let's just dump all of this. We should smelt that gold. But dump the rest of this all in here. Don't need any of you at the moment. Actually, I'll keep a stack of cobblestone on me for building. Uh, I'll take my iron out. Okay. So I need a helmet and boots still. So let's make a helmet and let's make some boots. And then also I'm going to make a second pickaxe because mine is already half broken. So there we are. We're pretty good. I'm also going to make an iron sword just to upgrade the one I've got. There we are. We might as well throw that iron sword just in a hole somewhere. So I don't have to worry about it taking up space. There we are. And let's go back down to mining. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to find some diamonds this episode. That would be awesome. The first diamonds I find, I am definitely going to spend on a diamond pickaxe so I can get obsidian. So I can get an enchanting table as soon as possible. Because you might be like, you know, you should make it into a, make it into a sword or something, but... I'm pretty sure a sharpness one iron sword is about equivalent to a diamond sword. We went up here last episode and it's a dead end, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. Sharpness one iron sword is about equivalent and sharpness two iron sword is better than a diamond sword. So it's much more worth um, making an enchant table because then you can put protection on your armor and stuff as well. So the first thing I do, only need, what, three, four, five diamonds. Because you need to make three for a diamond pickaxe. And then two more uh, for the actual enchantment table. I do not have a shovel on me. Okay, I guess we're going this way. Just mine around the edge. I like mining around the edge of lava pits because lava pits are open. So you can see more um, where diamonds would be if there are diamonds. It's a lot more area where you can see and also around lava is the exact place where diamonds spawn like at the right level take this iron with me although we're pretty good on iron at the moment come on give me some diamonds should be something around here hopefully if i don't find any soon i might just do a time lapse of me mining Strip mining, maybe, um, to see if I can find some diamonds so you guys don't have to just continuously watch me doing all of this. I can speed it up so it's not as painful for you to watch. I'm really hoping, though, that this won't be a dead-end lava pool. That it will continue into another cave system. Because that's another good reason to follow lava pools. A lot of the time, as you can see, I'm mining around the edge of it. A lot of the time, it leads you into a separate cave system. Which is also going to be at like Y equals 11 around that area. Uh, which is where it's so much easier to find diamonds because they spawn most frequently at. So I'm hoping these strategies are going to hopefully get me some diamonds. Fingers crossed. Does this keep going or is this just a dead end lava pool? Um... Ooh, lapis, yes. Although I think we got enough lapis last episode to last us for the whole series, but a little bit extra, not something to complain about. 26 extra, a bit more than a little, but I'll take it. Uh, please don't be a dead end. No, I think this is a dead end lava. lava. And my pickaxe is broke. Oh, I think this might be a dead end. Yeah, looks like it's just going to be a dead end here. So I'm actually going to go back to the, uh, the start of this cave system and do a strip mine to try and find some diamonds. So I'm going to time lapse it and I will cut back to normal speed as soon as I find some diamonds or something else exciting.
see water trickling down from here. So I'm going to go up here. Oh, some gold. I will take gold. I haven't found any diamonds yet, as you guys have seen. But gold is something... My pickaxe is so close to actually being broken. Which is not exactly what I'm after. Oh, more. Yes. Golden apples are definitely going to be a thing I'll use. Especially because I have this much gold. <gasps> I almost missed you. Yes, we finally found diamonds. Oh my goodness, and it's enough. It is enough that I can make a pickaxe and an enchanting table. That is awesome. Yes, how many? Oh, that was a vein of eight. I think that's the maximum you can get from one vein. Let's go explore this cave system here a bit. Just in case there are any more diamonds hanging around. Lapis. I should really stop mining lapis. We have so much of it. I'll mine iron just because uh, if this armor breaks that I'm wearing right now. I'm not going to make diamond armor yet because I don't have that much diamond to spare. But I'll keep making iron tools as well at the moment. We'll make a diamond pickaxe because we'll need it to mine the obsidian. But then uh, I don't want to make diamond tools yet until I actually really need um, that looks like it's just going back up. So I'm going to go explore this direction. Hopefully this is a good case system. It's at a nice level. So fingers crossed for some more diamonds in here. Yes, it goes back down even better. Let's just block this off a little. So I don't get killed. There we go. Come on, give me some more diamonds. Please give me more diamonds. Not a dead end. Okay. Dead end works as well. Kind of. Not really. Um, there was no diamonds hiding under this lava. Nope. Nope. Okay. I need to eat. I should grab this iron while I'm here. And I haven't made any buckets yet. No. I might make some buckets so I can go and get the obsidian. My pickaxe is... Oh, so close to breaking. Can we get these last bits of iron here? Yes. How much more? Two durability on my pickaxe. Alright. I think we better head back to base so we can make this diamond pickaxe. And try and get an enchant table. Let's just have a quick look up here. No, it's too high for any more diamonds to be there. But that's okay. We have finally got some diamonds. I am excited about that. That is super awesome. Did I? I totally forgot where I came in this cave system. Did I go down here though? That may be a place to check out. Ooh, more gold. Yes. And another cave system through there. My pickaxe definitely does not have enough durability left on it. Nope. There we go. Now, I really need to remember where I came into this cave. Oh, right here. Oh, I was right here. Yes. Okay. Now, I'll just run all the way home, which actually isn't that far. I didn't mind too far. It was just kind of slow because I had an iron pickaxe, but that's all right. Let's just, we can just drop some water on these and mine the obsidian. Now, that is actually going to be really good that we can already start enchanting some stuff. I'm only level 13 at the moment, but that's okay. Uh, I'll only do some low-level enchants on my armor and sword. Definitely worth doing that instead of making, like, a diamond chest plate. Because I can enchant my armor as well and get, say, protection 2 on my armor. And then it's already better than a diamond chest plate. Also, I left this open. That's not a good thing. There we go. Now, let me make this. Let's throw the iron in here, actually. And took the gold out. We can deal with the gold later. And make ourselves the diamond pickaxe. There we are. Grab three more. Not three more. Three in total. Oh, should we risk it going outside to get water? I know there was water all the way back there. Let's do it. Risk it for the biscuit. Don't be any creepers. Don't be any creepers to blow me up, please. Oh, no, I didn't craft the bucket yet. No, 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 craft bucket. Quick, 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 bucket crafted. I hear you, skeleton. I hear you. 
Uh, where's the water? The water's over here, yeah? Oh, this is a bad idea going out at night like this. <gasps> An egg. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you, Mr. Chicken. Quick. Okay. Get the water. Run back. Please, no creepers have spawned. Oh, oh no, I need to eat! This creep- There's a skeleton right outside my door waiting for me. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Hi. Would you like to not shoot me? That would be great. Thank you. Duck down in here and quickly close it up again. Okay. Now I have my diamond pickaxe and I have a water bucket. We can get some obsidian and uh, make that enchantment table because we already have leather and sugar cane. Super awesome. This is exactly what I wanted to do in this episode. So let's leave the water there as well just in case that uh, there's still another layer of lava underneath, which there probably is. Now I'm going to mine... How much obsidian am I going to mine? I'll need four for the enchantment table, but I'm thinking I might just get enough right now so I can make a nether portal too. How much is a nether portal? It is uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for a nether portal. So I need 14. I might get 18 just so I can make the corners of the nether portal as well. So I'm actually going to do another time lapse of me just mining obsidian because you guys don't want to watch that. That will take forever. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we're back. We have the 18 obsidian. There was one obsidian that slipped away into the lava, but that's okay. So now we will be able to make uh, a nether portal, which I don't know if I'll actually set up yet, because I don't want any pigmen coming through. I hear a zombie. That's terrifying. I don't want any pigmen coming through um, and just wrecking me, basically. So... I will make the enchant table now, though. I think I might clear an area... I'm not going to be able to get very high level enchants because I don't have... Wait, did I get leather? Oh, right! I didn't kill the enough cows to get leather! <gasps> I forgot about that. Is it daytime? It's daytime. Let's go kill another cow. Hopefully we'll still have enough there that we can breed them. But let's try and kill one more cow. So we can get at least one piece of leather so I can make this enchant table. I'm sorry, cows! I'm hopefully... One, two... I'm pretty sure there was another one somewhere. Let's leave those two alive. Yes, okay. Third cow. Please give me leather. Please. No, you didn't give me leather! No! I want to leave these two cows alive! Oh, no. Are there any other cows hiding anywhere, please? And now it's raining. Of course it's raining. Don't give me enough cows and make it rain on my parade. Nope, no cows hiding anywhere. Oh, that's such a pain. There's only you here, isn't there? I do not want to kill them. Oh. I'm actually going to turn weather down so you guys don't have to listen to the... What? I've turned weather off. Is it... Is it that one? Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't think it was... That. Turn that back on. Okay. Just so you guys don't have to listen to the rain because that can get really annoying. Just that much background noise in the video. 
I think I might not be able to make the enchanting table because I really don't want to kill all the cows if that's all I have. Because I can't see any more cows around me and that is... I'm going to need them to be able to make make the farm. Oh, that's such a... Whoa, what happened here? Some of the trees burnt down. Because it's next to lava. Oh, where are the more cows? Please, no. I guess, I guess I'm going to actually start a farm this episode then instead. Let's grab some water, because why not? Um, because there's no more cows. Let's just start a farm, because we can get some wheat and then start a cow farm, maybe next episode. No more cows hiding anywhere, hiding from me. No, I just want to be friends, cows. I definitely won't murder you while you're not looking. Okay, that that's really bad. I probably will murder you while you're not looking. Let's, um, I'm going to start a farm out here, actually. So let's make Mr. Creeper. I see you there. You stay there. Please do not come and kill me. Let's just, I'm not going to make, I'm just going to make a stone hoe. Because it's ridiculous to spend, where'd the creeper go? Oh, that's terrifying. I'm going to forget the creeper's there, I bet. And it's just going to end poorly for me. Let's dump the water in here and plant some seeds just all around here. Let's make a really little farm here. I have some seeds, I think. Do I have seeds in here? I don't think I have very many. I have three. Okay. So let's plant these three seeds right here and just harvest a bit more grass to grab a few more seeds. Four seeds. Come on, I would really like to fill up this farm. How many more do I actually need to fill up this farm? I'm sure it can't be too many. Ten. Eleven. Uh, what is this? Five by five, so 25, 24. 24 seeds I need in total. This will actually be a good amount of wheat because this size farm as well will give us... A decent amount of wheat so we can actually breed the cows afterwards. Which will be really awesome for, again, food, leather, really whatever else. XP. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to grab these last three seeds. And let's wrap it up then. So we got a decent amount done this episode. We went from having, what, an iron chest plate to now having full iron. A bit of spare iron as well, uh, a lot more gold and diamonds, that's the most important, we got 9, 8 diamonds, uh, we made the, we made the uh, diamond pickaxe and we have enough to make, uh, we have enough obsidian now to make the enchant table and to make the nether portal as well. We have 5 extra diamonds, 2 more for the enchantment table and 3 spare, so I may be even... We'll make a uh, diamond sword just because a diamond sword enchanted will be super overpowered. But so I guess that is it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying this vanilla single player series. If you are, don't forget to hit that like button and leave me some feedback down in the comments below as well. Don't forget to share this video with your friends if you are enjoying. And don't forget to subscribe as well if you are new to the channel so you never miss another video. But then that is it from me for now. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.